All right, question number 10, um, word problem, an island is located 43 miles north, 36 degrees, and 29 minutes west of a city. A fighter, <clears throat> a freighter <clears throat> in distress radios its position as north 12 degrees, 17 east of an island, and north 17 degrees, 12, 12 minutes west of the city. How far is the freighter from the city? So, according to the diagram, we have the freighter up here at B. Looks like a little boat. Um, we have some island, C over here, and then we have the city down here. This is A. They're showing that little picture of an island. <clears throat> we kind of see some vertical lines, perpendicular, we're given some angle measurements, and we'll have to use, <clears throat> we'll use these angle measurements to figure out um, the information that we need. So we're given the distance that the city is from the island, it's 43 miles. We want to know the distance from the city to the freighter, so this would be side C. So if I'm going to use um, law of sines, I need to know angle C. Um, I need to know angle B because I'm already given side B. <clears throat> I'm given enough information to figure out angle B. I mean, angle A right now, so I'll figure out angle A. Um, they're giving us each of the angles in degrees minutes form. <clears throat> when you have degrees minutes, you take the whole number as your degrees you take the minutes and there's 60 minutes in an hour so you just take that number and divide it by 60 and that will give you your de degree decimal form that's what we need <clears throat> there's two ways to do that so I'm going to show you um, both ways so one I can enter it in the calculator in that form so if I do 36 and I do second and I want to get angle so I have to hit the blue button to get the word angle and I get that angle symbol and then I do 29 and I do second angle and I do option number two to get that minutes this is what I get now I can also just do the 36 and I can add the 29 divided by 60 dividing by 60 is probably one of the easier ways now <clears throat> I'm not told how many decimal place to round to um, and you want to be careful because rounding at multiple stages will tend to throw your answer off like even if you do the correct steps so according to the example that they give <clears throat> they round to four decimal places so I'm gonna round um, my angles to four decimal places so this this angle here this whole angle I'm gonna round that to thirty six point four eight three three so that's the whole angle there. <clears throat> I need to do the 1712. Let's find out what that is in degree decimal form. 17 plus 12 over 60. It gives me 17.2. So this angle is 17.2. Now I can subtract these two and that'll give me angle A. So if I subtract 17.2 <clears throat> right now on the 3 3 8 give us a 2 at the borrow 1 and that will give us 19 so angle A this is angle A angle A is 19.2833 now I don't need angle A to solve the problem but I need to use angle A to figure out the others okay <clears throat> now um, if you go back to geometry this is a perpendicular okay this is a perpendicular if I was to continue to extend this perpendicular and extend this transversal okay this this angle this whole angle is the same as this this and this are the same um, because of vertical angle theorems this and this are also the same so this angle is here twice that's important because I know a straight line this whole thing is 180 
So I'm going to use the fact that a straight line is 180, and I'm going to subtract this angle, which is given, is 12, uh, 17, 12 degrees, 17 minutes, and this angle down here, which we just, well, we which we were given is 36, 4833. So this angle is 36, 4833. So if I subtract these two from 180, that will give me angle C. So I'm going to say 180 minus the 36.4833. And then minus, um, I got to convert to 12 degrees in 17 minutes. Uh, 12 plus 17 divided by 60. That gives me <clears throat> 1, 12, 28, 3, 3, 3. So minus 12.283. Okay, so I'm going to do 180 minus those two. <clears throat> 36.4833 minus 12.2833. That gives me 131. So angle C is 131.2833. One thirty-one, two, three, three, four. Okay, so now that I have two of the three angles, I can use these two subtract from one eighty and figure out B. That's what I really need. Okay, so I'm going to do one eighty minus the nineteen point two eight three three, and then minus the one thirty-one uh, two three three. Four, and that will give me angle B. Okay, so let's figure out angle B. 180 minus 19.2833 minus 131.2334 gives me angle B as 29, 48.33. This angle is 29, 4, 8, 3, 3. Okay, so I have angle B, side B, so I can set up law of sines. 43 over sine of angle B, which we just figured out was 29.4833. And that's going to be equal to side C over sine C. So side C, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Sine C, sine of 131.2334. Okay, and we're just going to cross multiply here, and that will give us our answer. So <clears throat> I'm going to set up alpha y equal enter. <clears throat> 43 um, times the sine. I don't need to do that sine of 131.2334 and that is over sine 29.4833 and that gives us a distance of 65.7 and we want to round to the nearest whole number so we're going to round this one to 66 miles so we're given that that is 66 miles away <clears throat>